I will have that martini, straight up. Coming right up. You're almost pleasant. This can't be good news. I had to give Garcia a reason uh, why Grace would call Scott. Another lie. I told him Grace caught us kissing. So now everyone at the hospital is going to think I'm two-timing Scott. It's better than having everyone think you killed Devlin. Listen, you are dragging me into one lie after the other. You may be determined to dig yourself an early grave, but I don't want the adjacent plot. Now, the smart thing to do is to tell the truth. If you tell Garcia the truth now, you're going to look guilty as hell, and you still don't have an alibi. Neither do you. Now, that's your real concern, Chrissy boy, isn't it? Oh, come on, Eve. You know I care about you. Do you lie your way out of everything? If I can. It's easy for you, isn't it? Like it isn't for you. I mean, at least I have a valid excuse. Genetic predisposition. <laughs> Charm runs in the family. I heard your plagiarized version of Les Mis at the hospital. So you wrote a bad check for a loaf of bread. What a noble boy. That was true. Uh-huh. Every word of me. Look it up if you want. <laughs> My father's Henry Ramsey, born July 7th, 1947, Muncie, Indiana. At least your father stuck around. My father has a record in six states, Eve. Insurance scams, fraud, lawsuits. He always had something going on the back burner. Are you looking for a mercy fling here? My dad would hit it big, and we would move into a fancy hotel. Steak and eggs for breakfast. Three months later, I'm sleeping on some flophouse floor, digging through garbage cans, looking for lunch. Go on. When I was six years old, my dad took me to the park. He'd never taken me anywhere. Put me up on this railing. He looked up. He said, OK, Christopher, just, just jump. I'll catch you. So I did. And um, he stepped back and watched me fall like a rock. When I stopped crying, he just, uh, <laughs> he just said, son, that's the most important lesson I'm ever going to teach you in life. Don't ever trust anyone. Why are you telling me this? Because you're my friend. Maybe the only one I got. And I'm trusting you not to tell Garcia that I don't have an alibi. Because if you do, you're just going to be proving my dad right. How's Lark? Uh, she dislocated her shoulder. Any broken bones? No. No, I reset her shoulder and she's fine. What happened? She didn't tell you? She told me that she slipped on the stairs and wrenched her arm in the railing when she fell. Is her mother out of the hospital yet? No. I'd like to believe her story's true, Frank. I'd hate to see her subjected to that kind of violence again. She'd have been keeping a closer eye on her. Frank, she's not six years old. She's a teenager. It's not like you can supervise her 24 hours a day. Lark has had more than her share of bad luck. Yeah, but listen, she's got you in her corner now, Frank, and that means a lot. You're an incredible role model for her. I mean, I wasn't crazy about her coming back into the house after that roof incident, but she's really made an effort to be a better person. So I don't know what you're doing. I'll keep up the good work, okay? Please, tell me what you saw, Professor Collins. A clown with a wig leaning over a body. He or she w w was choking another clown who, who, who later turned out to be the, the, the poor nurse. Did you say anything? Did you try to get help? Uh, well, I, I, from what I could see, it was too late. I, I, must have, I must have come upon them right at the end. The, the, the killer lowered a limp body to the floor. It, it was dreadful. I, I, I was paralyzed with fear. Why don't we get a sketch artist in here? It couldn't hurt. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Sir, when he gets back, 
I should tell Detective Garcia about, about the charts and the sketches that I made in your book. Why don't we keep that between us for now? This has never happened to me before. It's all right. It happens to all guys at one time or another. But it's so embarrassing. Oh, don't worry. I won't breathe a word of it to anybody. I hope not. The other ladies think I'm a real player. Oh, speaking of those um, other ladies, uh, tell me, are you so sure you don't know that Eve Lambert? You know, maybe I didn't mention to you that she was, oh, uh, kind of a smart mouth broad. <laughs> yeah, you keep mentioning this woman, but I don't know her. Oh, well, uh, maybe she used an alias? You mean some of the girls lie? Oh, my, my, my. Would you look at that? A full house. But time's up. I gotta go. But we didn't do anything. Oh, but I had such a good time watching you strip down to those gorgeous, sexy, silky boxer shorts. You know, I really was tempted to let you win. But I knew you wouldn't want me to throw the game like that. Well, next time I'll try a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time I bet you get lucky. And then I'll get lucky. See you later. Oh. What a woman. The things I do to catch a killer. That's it. That's the killer. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I recognize that face. You do? Every staffer who worked the circus had their own gimmick. I know who that is. Oh, my God, that's Julie Devlin. Lord. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. I brought you here to take care of you, and I hurt you. It's not you. It's that drug. Sometimes I feel it pounding in my veins, and it's like it pops out of my skin. I do things I never intended to do. I... That's it. That, that's it. I'm not taking it anymore. Cold turkey, but you get sick. I, I'm a medic. I can monitor myself. Why don't you tell Joe? No. You know, he can help no, you. No, no. I don't, I don't want anyone to know what I let happen to me. Not a single soul. I guess I don't count. No, you do count very much. I need you to get me through this. Just tell me what you need. First things first. I have to get rid of what's left. I'll do whatever it takes. down by the duck pond for a while. Are you just getting home? I thought you'd be back long ago. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I, I told you I'd probably be late. Oh, now how'd it go at the police station? Victor described the clown for a sketch artist. Oh. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Fancy that. Duty calls. This is when do you use a beeper? Well, I, you know, since it's the rage. I, I just think because all the kids are using them now, it's sort of a cool thing to do. And besides, those cellular phones are so intrusive these days. And besides, I can just be any place and do my work. Work at this hour? You're right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of them. Besides, I don't really recognize this number. I wonder who it could possibly be. Enchanted. This is Lucy Cole. You know, I, I, 
You must have the wrong number. Your number's on my pager, but it can't be right. Well, uh, let me guess. Grandma's in the room with you. Yes, something like that. Okay, then just listen. I've got another customer for you. Tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m., same place. Regular, just like you asked for. Are you interested? Uh, yes, sure am. And sorry about that. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> it, it, it was the wrong number. You really shouldn't give your real name to strangers. It could be dangerous. You're right. Uh, I will never do that again.